Brent Standard with High Impact Leaders one more time. Thanks again for booking on the podcast. Uh, in this short video series, not just the one that you've already seen, but then the, the future ones that I'm sending, I'm going to share with you how to generate a fantastic appearance on the podcast, as well as a few things that you can use to promote yourself and your company to my audience. On this video, I'm going to cover a few audio and video tips that, that will help you look great, help you sound fantastic. And, and really the first and most important thing is to make sure that you have a good camera and an external microphone. Uh, the ones that are built into laptops or, or into computers, they neither make you look good <laughs> nor make you sound professional. They're, they're a lot of times the ones that are put into the laptops, especially are, are kind of cheap. It's not like the ones that you get on a, on a cell phone. So personally, I use a Logitech uh, webcam, the Logitech 1080p. You can get them for, I think, sometimes as little as like 70 bucks if you don't already have one. Most likely, if you've been doing internal training, you've, you've probably already made that investment. Um, one of the things that I do, though, is I mount it on a desktop tripod, right? So like, for instance, I have my laptop here, which is basically right here. So if I were to, to use, if I were to put the camera on the laptop that I'm using, it's basically going to make me kind of crunched over and it makes me look weird. So what I do is I mount it a little bit higher so that I can look directly into it and I can stand erect and look really effective when I'm doing this. It gives you a, a much better angle. Um, if you were able to record a, a few short impactful tips, you know, like for instance, if during the interview, if, if we're able to extract a few really cool tips and if you have great video, then we can send them to you and you can use them internally if, if you like. Um, however, that's not really the main purpose of what, um, of what we're doing on the podcast. Uh, since, since this is mainly an audio podcast, your microphone is going to be way more important. <laughs> so we want you to sound marvelous. Uh, so between you and I, any external microphone will make you sound pretty good. Um, I, I've even had interviewees who just use their AirPods. However, I suggest that you use a, a USB podcast microphone of some type. Um, Yeti makes a lot of really good ones. Uh, you can get some really nice ones if you're if you're doing internal training and stuff like that as well. But you're going to sound crisper, cleaner. So it's going to make you sound a whole lot better. Um, obviously, you're going to want to record from a quiet place and natural light from a window works best. Um, so make sure that the, the light is facing you, not behind you. Otherwise, you're going to look like you're in the witness protection program, that kind of thing. Uh, backgrounds aren't really critical for this type of recording. You know, just because it's it is mainly audio, but personally, I find real backgrounds work much better than the the virtual ones. I, I mean, as you can see behind me, you know, that's a, that's a real table. That is a real computer behind me. Those are real pieces of art <laughs> behind me. So basically, if you if you find a nice backdrop that you can use, it typically works a whole lot better than using like a virtual one, because it, what tends to happen is when people move around, they, it creates kind of an outline. So you're less likely to get those those um, those video snippets that we were just talking about. Um, one final trick, though, since we um, we will be recording from Zoom, you can actually go into your video settings on Zoom and touch up your appearance. Um, I did it. It makes me, you know, makes even a salty dog like me look beautiful. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you'd never guess that I was actually 94 years old, right? So uh, just basically, just as a review, um, the th these are the email subject lines that you're going to be receiving from me in the in the next couple of days. So, so number one was the one that you've already seen, hopefully anyway, it's who our audience is and how to really tailor your message for maximum impact. This was the one I sent out yesterday. So don't forget to watch it if you haven't already done so. Number two is how to look and sound amazing, which is basically what we're doing right now. Number three, the one that you'll get tomorrow is how to promote yourself and your organization to my audience. And that's one of the things that a lot of times people kind of overlook. A lot of times when Folks are on a podcast interview for the very first time. They're, um, it's it's nerve wracking. I know I've been there, right? I've been the podcast interviewee and it can be a little, it can make you kind of nervous. And so we're focusing on how do I not screw this up and that kind of thing, right? So keep in mind, that's my job. My job is to make you look and sound fantastic. But one of the things that you don't wanna miss out on is how to really promote yourself and promote your organization during that podcast. So we're going to cover some really cool things there. 
Um, number four is one that a lot of, uh, another topic that a lot of people overlook is how you can get lots of other uh, interviews or guest interviews uh, from other shows that are, that are just like mine. The, basically, what we're going to talk about on number four is how to really build up your credibility in the marketplace on being an expert at that thing that you're an expert on. Right. You may be an expert, but if the world doesn't know it, it becomes more challenging. And, and so that one, that's one that you really, really don't want to miss. And then number five is how to really double your impact during the interview, because I'm going to give you the questions I'm going to ask you. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to tell you, these are the questions I'm going to ask you when you get on the video or when you get on the recording. And so it's, it's, there's nothing that's going to be um, a surprise. You know, like I said, the whole goal here is to make you look and sound fantastic. So one of the things that I absolutely love about podcasting is that it, it really has a huge impact for both the audience and the guests. And it really, it costs you nothing. It costs your company absolutely nothing. It's a bunch of free advertising for you. So remember that tomorrow's video is how to really promote yourself effectively to my audience. And I understand that you probably don't consider yourself to be a salesperson, but there, there is really a potential for for, for dozens, maybe even hundreds of potential new candidates or new hires for your company um, that will be listening. And I know that, that you personally are probably really, really happy working for the company that you're working for now and you're not looking for anything else. But what will sometimes happen is that there, there are a bunch of organizations out there where significant people in those organizations may listen to your interview and kind of say, man, that is exactly the type of talent that we want on our team. And, um, and, and basically you, you might get job offers as a result of it. So, I mean, stranger things have happened, right? So I'm going to show you how to really capitalize on those things and make you look and sound really good during the process. So we'll see you on the next video.